going to launch a research project and I'd love for you all to be involved and what we're going to do is do an IRB study and study what's going on in Fairfield County. We have done a whole stadium, uh, Kennedy Stadium, we did 500 people that was for a pep rally. We learned this morning 80% of kids heal within three weeks. The role of the neuropsychologist really comes into play in these kids that take longer than three weeks. We are neurologists and neuropsychologists, so we are experts in brain behavior relationships. And I think that's quite important. Continue to revise. We're in the process of revising now, and I, I have heard the word communication come up several times. Um, today and I think really truly that is the key. And now what's happened is all the pediatricians are now sending me all the complicated cases so I'm seeing those kids which I'm going to be talking about uh, at the, in the next session. mother of a young man who's had two concussions, um, first one playing touch football and the second one was from a series of sub-concussive blows. We're at the Brain Injury Alliance of Connecticut. We were founded back in 1981 by family that sat around the kitchen table and they had a loved one who was in rehab. Um, we're here today as the sponsor for this event because we believe in providing additional education uh, to the community and to providers about concussion. Uh, my daughter in 2010 was a sophomore at the Loomis Chafee School and the goalie on the girls hockey team and got a bad concussion. Most high schools now will have to have parent and student education and informed consent. So with that, I think we're moving in the right direction as far as high school athletes and concussions at this point. The concussion, whether that um, makes it you know, worse, does it, does it alleviate or add more stress. So I think it's just really great to get different insights from people who are actually on the front lines. Too. For everybody from the nurses to the doctors to the athletic trainers to all get together and try to streamline really what's going on in the state of Connecticut and how to deal with concussions reason brain healing the brain injury healing on its own without medication without any treatment of which there are none that's pretty miraculous and that's normal 